You asking for a beating? I think I could uh, sleep for a week. Uh, oh. I hear you. <sighs> Me, I could sleep for double that. Oh. How are you still on your feet, Kiryu-san? Uh. I guess you're just built different, huh? I wouldn't say that. I'm barely holding up myself. <laughs> you know what? After today, I think we all could use a drink to lift our spirits. There is ice in the freezer. As for glasses, you can find some in the bar. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'll just grab a couple of these. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> you really held your own today, Tomizawa. <laughs> hey, I've been around the block, man. And one morning, I'm rolling with you, my. Next day, sharing a roof with you two. And soon, we'll be deep in District 5. It's crazy how life switches it up on you. Sorry to drag you into all this. It's a lot. You didn't drag me into nothing. Yeah, I figure this is just part of getting my life together. For real, though, you guys really did save my life. Maybe even my damn soul. And damned or not, I'm not just gonna bail on you. Not after what you did. So, sorry for the inconvenience, but you're stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. Though, you sure you're okay with what happened? Cutting ties with Yumai and all? Remember what you said at the house? I had a choice, and I made it. Only reason I joined his little syndicate in the first place is because I couldn't pay back what I owed him. And then before I knew it, I was 30, with nothing to show for it. Age doesn't mean squat. It's never too late to turn a new leaf, no matter how heavy it is. You, you think so? Totally. Just look at me, man. I was locked up for 18 years, and when I got out, I was in my 40s. And ever since then, it's been... Uh, how should I put it? <laughs> it's been one wild ride. So chin up, Tommy. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Did you just call me Tommy? Yeah, Tommy. As in Tomizawa. Dude, that's lame as hell. I mean, you could just call me Eric. What? Uh, Tomi's perfect for you. Kiryu-san, back me up. <laughs> Can't say much for the nickname thing. But you're right about turning a new leaf. As long as you stick to it, you'll find yourself in a better place. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I should have poured you in first. <laughs> uh, you good with it on the rocks? No, thanks. I like to feel the heat. <laughs> Anyhow, just be aware that everything has to end sometime. You can always turn a new leaf, but you can't turn back the clock. All you get is the precious time you're given. That's why you've got to live every last moment to the fullest. 
I figured I knew that well enough already. But to my surprise, I still had a lot left to learn. Uh, Kiryusa? Did something happen? Yeah. If anyone deserves to know, it's the guys who have my back. Thing is, I've got cancer. <gasps> Seems I've got half a year left, at most. Too long ago, I was working in a temporary waste storage facility for decommissioned reactors. The forklift driver had a sudden heart attack. One accident Dumbass. led to another. You got a death wish? Forget the rest and get out ASAP! The drums weren't filled with much. Contaminated dirt. Worn out components. Protective suits. As far as radioactive waste goes, it was low risk. Low enough for no immediate harm, far as experts were concerned. In light of that, there is no certainty it was the cause. The cancer could have come from just about anywhere. Hold up. What are you doing in a friggin' reactor? This is nuts. This is how I chose to make amends. Leaving my old life behind meant living in the shadows for good. Every time I stepped into the light, the people I loved got hurt. It had to stop. Trouble is, there's not a lot you can do in the dark. Not a lot of good, anyway. So... This was your answer to all that? Yeah. This was something I chose. Hardest part was convincing the Daidoji to let me do it. <sighs> and this is much bigger than me. Right now, that reactor's full of people willing to step up and do the work that needs to be done. All I wanted was to play a part however I could. <sighs> Otherwise, I probably would have wasted away into nothing by now. That's about the smartest thing I could think of. You know, being educated on the streets and all. Are you sure there's not some mistake? All you've got is half a year? Yeah. The last thing I wanted was to make a big deal out of it. But then I figured, it wouldn't be right if I kept this from you guys. I don't know. You seem like you're in good shape to me. <laughs> well, I can still haul ass when need be. <clears throat> that said, I need to pick my battles wisely. For my health. Uh, so... Is that why, back at Akane's, you weren't exactly spoiling for a fight with Yamai? Yeah. Though, 
I am a bit hurt. <laughs> you really think I'd pick a random fight that easy? This shit's unreal. you son Of all people. Man, you don't have time to be out here wrecking yourself like this! What you need right now is a doctor! Believe me, I've gone. Apparently the cancer spread. Metastasized, they called it. Nothing any surgery can fix. They gave me some pills to ease things, but that's it. Still, if you're sick, then... You need to be getting your rest! You said it's the Daidoji faction calling the shots here? Well, I've got some words for them. Kasuga. No, I'll make this right! Kasuga, it's not like that. <sighs> my being here and everything, that was my decision from the start. If it helps, I'm not just following orders. And don't feel like you dragged me into this either. But... Then... why? I just don't think retirement's in the cards for me. Sure, maybe I could stop and settle down. But I'd rather put what time I've got left to work. Work? Doing what? Running around on the government's leash? Instead of that, how about you stop running away from reality? <laughs> Think I'm gonna hit the shower. <laughs> when I'm out, we'll rock, paper, scissors. See who gets the floor. <laughs> Is he for real? Hey, Guska, you okay? Yeah. I know the guy's basically a superhero or whatever, but that's just crazy. I mean, he's got cancer. Once he's out of the shower, let's try to convince him to go to the hospital again. There's a pretty big one here in town. No, it's useless. No one be enough to stop him now. Huh? Cure you, son. He had the same look in his eyes as Arakawa-san. See you tomorrow, Ichi. I see now. They're the same. He had already made up his mind, too. What, 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 what do you mean? Who did? Uh, actually, it's kind of hard to explain. Anyhow, if that's how Kiryu-san wants it, then there's only one thing we can do. We get this taken care of quick as possible, then get him to a hospital. Sound good? What? Man, I just don't get you guys. Think about it. If you up and die, it's all over. <sighs> All right, let's get moving. What? Are you still upset? No, I'm not upset. Still, it did catch me off guard. I just didn't want you guys to worry. Sorry. Guess I only made you more concerned. Well, I mean, how could we not be? But cure you, son. Hmm? Seriously, thanks for telling us. If I didn't know and something happened to you, I would have never been able to forgive myself. To be honest, I'd rather drop everything and take you to the hospital straight away. That said, I know how stubborn you are. So, for my sake, do you think you can rely on us a little more? Rely on you? I'm not about to treat you like you're on your deathbed, but 
we're here too, you know? So, share the load. We got your back. This way, you won't push yourself too hard, and we'll stay happy. Right? Right. Hmm, I see. All right. Yeah, I'll try to do that. For what it's worth, your help means a lot. Both of you. <laughs> Just doing what we can. Yeah? Definitely. Happy to help. Right, enough chit-chat. Where to? Good question. We still have a bit of time before our meeting. There's no telling what we'll be up against. Make sure you're ready for anything. Tomizawa, is there a good place to go shopping around here? Hmm. How about the Anaconda Shopping Center? It's close to District 5, and they got pretty much everything. Cool. Stock up there first. I can handle anything. What's up? <sighs> I see. Thanks. Yeah. Hmm. This is the garage the bartender told us about, huh? Hey, what do you want? Huh? Where'd that voice come from? Yeah, I'm over here. Uh -huh. Whoa! Customers, what seems to be wrong with the vehicle? Oh, uh, actually, I'm here about my baseball bat. Well, there's your problem. That's not a car. Yeah, I realize that, uh, but... Wait, hold on! Revolve's bartender sent us. He said there's a one-of-a-kind mechanic here. Hmm... Ugh, why didn't you say that up front? I wasted a whole song and dance on you. Oh, so am I in the right place? If the bartender sent you, yes. We can offer a selection of non-vehicular maintenance services. Name's Julie. Michiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, shall I take a look at this bat? Please. Wow! Guy your age still walks around with a skullcracker like this? That's old school. In a cringy kind of way. Thanks. You can help, then? I'm used to modding guns, swords. <laughs> a bat is child's play by comparison. <sighs> Oh well, let's get on with it. What were you thinking? Show me.
What is it now? What if I tried... Ha! Huh, shut up! I'm thinking! A little more... This is even better. Good! Holy... It's barely the same bat anymore! I got bored halfway through fixing it up, so I made some improvements. Better leverage here... It'll be a much deadlier instrument now. So, satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. It's so much easier to handle. I feel stronger somehow just from holding it. You're a miracle worker. No wonder the barkeep said you're the best he knows. Well, that was nothing special. Certainly nothing he couldn't do. Hmm? What'd you say? Nothing. You heard nothing. Hey, Missy. I'm helping someone else right now, but the exit door is free to assist you. Don't test me, honey. I'm not going anywhere till I get some service. As I've already told you, we only work on vehicles here. Come back when you need an oil change. Enough bullshit. Everybody knows this is a weapon shop. Quit screwing with me. Even if this were the place you think it is, I reserve the right to refuse service to whomever I so choose. Leave. Fucking grass. This how you want to play it? <gasps> Now give me some goddamn service, girl! Hey, you need to calm down. Hell, who are you? Just a customer. She's replacing my alternator. Settle down and I'm sure she'll be with you soon, yeah? You fucking tourist. <laughs> you got no idea where you are, do you? All right. How about I shoot you? Then I won't be cutting the line. Well, damn, that does sound reasonable. Let's try it. <laughs> You're a dead man. Someone can win. All right, let's go. This is goodbye. Mm. All right, here I come. You're out of here. Ow. Break yourself. Allow me. That's it. No. Mm. It's over. You're... you're so strong! This shop's off limits to you from now on. Got it? Got it. Sorry, you won't see me again! You okay? <sighs> Happens sometimes. Word gets around. The kind of men who look for trouble are good at finding it. Still, I can usually turn them away without much difficulty. Appreciate you taking the bullet for me, though. So to speak. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess with skills like yours, a lot of guys would be interested in coming here. Mm-hmm. But my rule is only people the bartender gives the okay to. Huh. You and the bartender go back long? No, not very long. But, well, a lot's happened. I'm renting the space from him, actually. He's technically in charge. Is that right? He owns more than Revolve Bar, then, huh? Anyway, if it isn't clear, I'd like to keep our weapons work under wraps. I expect your discretion. Well, I suppose if the bartender trusts you, I should too. <laughs> we good, old man? Yeah, of course. All right if I come around again? Sure, you were useful today. I'll help you out. Only thing is, next time I'll have to charge, and you'll need to supply your own materials. If that's fine by you, come again anytime. Oh, one more thing. Over in the Anaconda Center, there's a colleague of mine. I'll let them know you're allowed there, too. Got it. Thanks a lot. Looking forward to seeing you again, Julie Chan. Julie... Chan? Oh, sorry. Force of habit. Does that sound strange? No, no. I get it. It's a Japanese thing. I've just never heard that applied to me. I'm... 
kind of flattered, honestly. Yeah, well, just let me know if it's weird. No, don't worry. It's fine. Cool. Julie Chan, it is then. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I'm surprised. Hmm. Drinks later. Welcome. What is it now? I'm back again. Yeah. yeah. Let me out. pavement with a street surfer would you like to take a spin right now membership is totally free hey excuse me we're currently having a promotion for the street surfer membership is absolutely free are you interested in a street surfer no way in hell I'm setting foot on that death trap uh, but wait it's not defective anymore uh, just give it another chance uh, nobody understands Beauty that is my street surfer. Well, what's a street surfer? <clears throat> mm. Ah, good sir. How about a cruise on a new and improved street surfer? We're currently doing free trials, and membership is free too. It's a world class deal. How about it? Oh, well, I'm gonna need some more information. What exactly is a street surfer anyway? You've never heard of it. Strange. It was blowing up all over the place before. Okay. Yep. Anyway, let's not get hung up on the details. I'm Oka, inventor of the Street Surfer. Got pending. All right. I'm Ichiban Kasuka. Kasuka-san, good to meet you. And thanks for being willing to hear me out. Well then, <clears throat> the Street Surfer is an all-electric, eco-friendly light vehicle. Two decades of painstaking R&D in the making. Oh, well, so you ride this thing? Looks a bit funky to me. Oh, contraire. This baby here is gonna revolutionize the industry. Forget about e-boards and e-bikes. For starters, there's no kicking or pedaling involved. Just chillax, 
Enjoy the ride. Believe me, it's the most user-friendly mobility tech out there. The only effort you need is to hop on and go. Huh. Well, that does sound handy. But if it's so great, why was everyone avoiding you just now? Oh, well, the truth is, I made a teensy little blunder during development. And... Uh... And? <laughs> you see, remember when I said my invention blew up? News about it spread across the entire island. Uh, sure. I may not use the internet much, but I know all too well when something blows up on it. That's what happened, right? Uh, no. I mean, yes, I did get raked over the coals online. But you see, it blew up in more ways than one. Meaning? Well, there were a few kinks and hiccups to be ironed out with the street surfer back then, and, uh... The thing had the tendency to, uh, explode. So the damn thing blew up for real? I nearly died of humiliation. Uh, but I assure you, that's all in the past. After some deep soul searching, I decided to fix all the bugs and do the test runs myself. That's 500 million instances of trial and error right there. I nearly lost my life pouring blood, sweat, and tears into this invention on numerous occasions. But it was all worth it, because now this thing runs like a champ. It's the safest, most innovative vehicle to hit the market. However, my past failures haunt me to this day. I can't shake all the bad press, so no one will give it a chance. But I have absolute confidence in the latest model. If I could just get people to give it a shot, I'm sure things would take off from there. I get it. Sounds like you're in a tough spot. Well, if those battle scars are any evidence, it shows you're at least passionate about your product. So, what do you say? Will you take a leap of faith? You're the first person to hear me out in ages. I'm sure you won't regret giving it a try. You, you sure that thing's not gonna blow sky high? I swear it! <laughs> These lacerations are proof of progress! Gotcha. Then, challenge accepted. Let's give it a whirl. All right. Thank you so much. Now, please, change your mind. Right on! <laughs> sure beats running around. Actually, it rides pretty smooth. <laughs> Look at this thing go! I must say, you're a natural. So, what do you think? Well, it's a lot cooler than I expected. It's almost easier than walking. And that's saying something. Music to my ears, good sir. <laughs> you don't know how much I've been yearning to hear those words. Oh, what have we here? That street surfer wannabe's at it again. What a dumbass. Not only is that shit lame, it's a ticket time bomb. Sorry, can I help you? Or perhaps clear something up? Well, there were some development issues in the past, I can assure you. Street Surfer's current incarnation is as safe as it gets. What? You calling me a liar? Just for that, I'm gonna dunk this thing. No, stop! You're hurting it! <laughs> All right, and who we got here? A satisfied customer. See, I just had a blast on the Street Surfer. Might even sign up as a bona fide member. So why not treat it with a little more respect? Or, you know, at least have the stones to try it out. Are you really talking to me about respect? Kaden, how about I jump you first? Someone call me doctor. Okay, after you asked for it. Looks like I'm up. Here I come. Armed and ready. 
Here we go. Allow me. Alright. Cool. Learning more one. every day. So, is that office romance of yours heating up at all? Kasuga-san, are you all right? Oh, you really went out of your way. I'm so sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. You guys like that bug me anyhow. More important, is the surfer still intact? I kicked the living crap out of it, but it'll survive. Alas, better safe than sorry. It's back to the lab with this one. All the damage caused another malfunction. That'd be the end for sure. Right. Good point. Hey, so, um, uh, earlier, you mentioned considering a Street Surfer membership. You still on board? Yeah. I've honestly taken a liking to it. And it's free right now anyway, right? <laughs> Plus, you seem to be in need of people, so... Oh, wow! That's so great to hear! In fact, it's a dream come true! So when I register, I'll be able to ride these anytime I want? Yes. Except in places where recreational vehicles are banned, you can basically ride them wherever, whenever. However, they run on electricity, so after using it for a while, you'll need to charge it up. This you can do at one of my specially branded charging stations, an Oka Charger, located sporadically throughout Hawaii. Now, street surfers do cost money to recharge, but the more you charge at once, the more bang you get for your buck. You can also modify the appearance and functionality of your surfer at a charging station, so please tinker to your heart's content. Got it. Hawaii is pretty big, so I was kind of worrying about transportation. Oh, this will be a huge help. I'm so glad to hear that. In the meantime, I'll be working hard to expand my services for your convenience. Well then, guess I'll leave you to it. For sure. Take care. Yeah, you too, Kasuga-san. Yes? It seems that kicking the device triggers combustion. Uh, but not to worry. I will fix this. Somehow. Let's get going! You ain't running from me. Bring it on. Oh, I'll knock your ass out. Got you now. Armed and ready. Here they go. Yeah. Allow me. Like I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> Open one. <laughs> oh, 
Here we go. The battle is on! Cool! Break yourself! Get lost! Time to cut you down! Even stronger now. Keep your eyes straight ahead. Knock it off with the steering.
Aloha! Don't aloha me. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? Hawaii hosts a notorious Sujiman tournament. It's a professional obligation that I attend. Make no mistake, that's the only reason I'm here. This is no vacation, my boy. This is entirely in the interest of... Suji science. So... What's the tournament like? In cases such as these, seeing might prove necessary to believing. Follow me. Okay. Ah, hello there. How can I help you? Who's that Sujiman? Understood. Please take the elevator. The Sujiman Stadium. I can hardly believe it. Home of the Suji League, where rival Sujiman trainers come to compete. The guests put money down on who'll win. Really, it's not all that dissimilar from underground gambling in Japan. Honolulu has strict gambling laws. It's ironic. Those restrictions only drive certain kinds to create such remarkable facilities as this. Hawaii has more to it than meets the eye, huh? Of course. The matches are broadcast worldwide on the dark web. The wealthy can watch and gamble at their leisure. Look! There's a match going on right now! What a fight! The challenger Masato is struggling against the mighty Discreet Force Jack! He's down to his last mon! Oh no! Come on, hang in there, buddy! <laughs> Is that really it? Finish it. Kill him if you want. <laughs> no, buddy! That all you got? Give up yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> I quit. It's over! Like the rest of the foursome, Jack's team of Sujimon remains untouchable! Oh, this really is the Suji League. Jeez. Battles are fought with teams of three mon, led by their Sujimon trainer. A three can train find that man. <laughs> what? Oh, thank Now, and is uh, a I wait, wait, worry. Hello. Oh, oh. Hi there. And from the end, oh, the Yas packet. And now, so, so, each. Oh, mm -hmm. you're a syrup. And without further ado, this Sujimon League rookie match is on! Let's give it everything we got! We got this for sure! Alright boys, charge! Whoa -ho -ho! Put the kids to bed for this one, or wake them up and make them watch if they're little brats.
What'll these wholesome creeps and pervers do next? Here comes a doozy. Ah. Both trainers are considering their options intently. Attention is thick. The things Sujimon aren't paid by the hour, or at all. Get ready. Ah. Oh, baby! What's that Sujimon got in their bag of tricks? Back to the drawing board. Get huh? ready, chump. <laughs> No. Right. <laughs> that but the sad grad but they I can't truth for my love. So the there's only the ch you met was so the real cost of the commander. As I was. Mm, all right. Cost of uh, the <laughs> Hey! <laughs> so, for the most. Mm, to dot cost. What? Where do these old oh, wait the cost of the. If you don't just. What are these? Suit anyway. Uh, There you go. 
go. Token of friendship. How about it? Are you serious? Guess you're the boss now. I think I see if he has you had a look. Uh, <laughs> one more uh, pain uh, or eat. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I can keep going. Try safely. Hey, you! This ain't a show, dipshit. Thank you. This is my place to stay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Thank you very much. Don't worry, don't you go. Stay Need to slow down now. So hop. Aloha! Thank you. Hey, you made it. Finally feel like doing your job for once. Piss off. So you can really get us into District 5? Call me out all you want. Either way, it's time. No more of this standing around. Let's go. Besides, he's our only lead right now. He got me there. Well, after you, Roman. Shit. You sure it's cool if we're here? Here's a question. What the hell you want with District 5 anyway? My passport got stolen. Guess the thief used it as a bargaining chip to get inside. Huh. Well, you're wasting your time then. Once something's in the Barracuda's hands, getting it back is practically suicide. I'm actually after the person who stole it. I'm gonna catch him and ask a few questions. Oh, that right? Hey, what's the holdup? Get this thing open already. Who the fuck are they? Uh, just some Japanese tourists with more money than sense. So they want to see a different side of Hawaii. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. Not like you've got anything to hide in there, right? Open the gate. Okay. 
Get your asses ready for a special guided tour. This tours a round trip situation, yeah? Don't lag behind, unless you want to end up as a casualty. <laughs> uh... This area was slated for redevelopment, but it got delayed due to a dispute over who owns the land. Still, no matter what country you're in, once something's abandoned, a homeless come knocking. This place became a shanty town in the blink of an eye. It's close to a lot of tourist attractions, so the government's almost always trying to clear it out. But with people coming in from all over the world, their little game of cat and mouse just keeps on going. Then the Barracudas rolled in, and, well, you can see how that turned out. Yeah, Hawaii's the last place I'd expect something like this. You would think, but a lot of these people come here on a one-way trip. They give their passports to the Barracudas in exchange for a stable place to live. But if they give up their passports, then how do they get back home? They don't go back home. District 5's got everything they could ever want. Shops, the hospital, cafeteria. The Barracudas have set up their own laws and infrastructure here. From the government's point of view, it's more convenient for the homeless to be under Barracuda control than to let them roam the streets. Yeah, but doesn't it cost money to use the shops and all? Where are these people getting the money? Ah, uh, they have their ways. So, you got any leads on your passport thief? Yeah, she's a 20-something Japanese woman. Her name's Chitose, kinda hard-headed. <laughs> yeah, sure, that ought to narrow it down. Hey. Did you see a Japanese woman come through here? Goes by Chitose? Japanese? I actually might know something about that. What do you got? A few days ago, some guys got into a scuffle over in West Block. Apparently a woman showed up out of the blue. Not every day you see a little Asian cutie like her in a dump like District 5. Anyway, she was all by herself with nowhere to stay didn't have a mind to bring a tent. As you can guess, the fight broke out real quick over who got dibs in that one. Huh. Who'd the gal end up staying with? Don't know. Wasn't there to see the mayhem. Best bet is to ask around West Block. <laughs> it just had to be West Block. Huh? What's West Block? A sector all the way at the ass end of District 5. A lot of bums like to drink and gamble there. Real rough crowd on a good day. You really think so? Is she gonna be okay? Actually, it's a smart move on her part. Pal up to the strongest guy on that end, and it's easy living from there on. Of course, nothing comes for free. Even in a rat hole like this. <laughs> and you seriously call yourself a cop? <sighs> anyway, West Block's waiting. Let's go. Hey. What? <laughs> Sup? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you. up. 
What's up? Hi. What? Ah. Uh, Kiryu-san. I get ya. Oh. I can keep going. Thanks. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You Japanese? You're Jose, right? We're looking for a woman named Chitose. You know her? You got a thing for my girl? You just say his girl? Look, I I'm not here to mess with whatever you got going on. I just want to ask her something. So, can I see her? <laughs> Buzz off. I decide who she sees, and I say no. Come on, man, this is important. The girl stole my passport. I just want it back. I see. You're from the outside and came to steal her back, that it? No wonder I didn't recognize you. Well, you better think twice, pal. No way I'm letting that sweet little thing go. Man, what part of I just want my passport do you not get? Open your ears. I just want to ask her something and go. We're done here. Hey, boys! Get rid of these clowns. Hey, hang on. We got the police with us. Hey, Roman, do something, will you? <laughs> like I'd throw myself between a gang of homeless goons and some no-name foreigners. I only serve the American public, friendo. I am an American, you ass! Gosh, you're full of shit! Yeah, well, you brought this on yourselves. But hey, best of luck. If you pull through, we'll keep on with the tour. Here you, son. How are you holding up? Aside from wishing I'd kept my mouth shut? Might help to stop asking how I'm doing every five seconds. Hey, can you blame me? Don't worry about me. Let's just end this quick. Right. I'm cool. I can do this. I can do this! Now! Have at him! I'll bury you! Alright, let's go! Damn it. <sighs> <sighs> 